much water out there right now. They're coming up to Blomidon here pretty soon. Same and I can imagine in my mind that these are the words you'll be saying. So first they open the door. This is highly speeded up. It doesn't move that fast. And uh, then before you can get on, they have to unload everybody. And again, this is speeded up. That takes a lot longer than this. And this is only a few of them coming out. But there's a lot of vehicles on there. And then finally, after all the vehicles get out, they load it back up again. And after they load it back up again, which also takes a long time, then you can finally start out on your trip to PEI.
PEI. Room 420. Size bed. Nice room. Decent view. Desk. Fridge. Cooler. TV. Place for a Yankee. Hey, what you doing? Chesterfield. Coffee table. Nice bathroom. This is also the same room, room 427, where that GES production, that award-winning thriller, Yankee and the Fly, was filmed. If you look closely, you can see that that stain that Yankee did not make is still in the carpet. Just taking Yankee down to walk by the water. We're on PEI. This is just outside Summerside. Going down to the Linkletter Beach. We're going to drive way down onto the water. Right onto the water, aren't we, Yankee? There's Yankee watching where we're going. I don't know if you can see him there. There he is. There he is. There's that little guy watching out the window. Gonna go right out onto the water. Hey, Yankee. Now, you ever seen the curvature of the Earth? This is the uh, Confederation Bridge going from PEI over to Nova Scotia. And if you look right at the end, you'll see that it just goes down into the water. Right there where the red mark showed up. You'll see it, it comes down into the water. Well, the reason for that is that bridge is straight. It doesn't bend. It, it doesn't go down into the water. And the reason for that is the curvature of the Earth. That's quite a long ways away. It's about 40 miles. So you can see as I zoom out here how far that is away, really. And uh, and that's the the point where the bridge disappears into the water is about halfway across. So that's a long ways out. Anyway, I thought that was interesting when I when I took a look at that. You can actually see the curvature of the Earth and the the bridge going following the Earth's curvature. Somebody had a feed. <laughs>